Hi, this is Kevin with Learn Computers 24-7, and today I'm going to show you guys how to use your Google Drive account. Now, with every Google account that you create, you're entitled to a Google Drive account, which entitles you to a total amount of storage that you can store on the web. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to Google.com. We're going to sign into our Google account. I've already done that to mine. So we're going to move on to the next step. What you're going to do is you're going to click on Drive. Okay, once you get here, if you don't have any files yet in your Google Drive, you should just see this blank screen uh, with this this icon here for Download Drive for PC. Now, Google Drive is a program that allows you to store your files on the Google servers, so basically on the Internet. Uh, what It stores pictures, music, movies, uh, documents, anything really. So the easiest way to transfer these things between your computer and Google Drive is to download Drive for PC, which places a folder on your desktop that you can transfer files to. So what we're going to do, we're going to click download drive for PC. Once it loads up here, we're going to click on it. We're going to click run. We're going to wait for it to install. This could take a couple of minutes. Okay, and once that's done, you're going to click close. Now we should start seeing a couple other setup or information screens that pop up. Okay, I can see down here the Google Drive icon popped up. I'm going to click on it. Okay, you get your basic thank you screen. Uh, what you're going to do, you're going to sign into your account. You're going to see that my email is already there. I just need to type in my password. Okay, we're going to sign in. Okay, I'm going to click on this checkbox. It's optional. It just sends your crash reports and your usage statistics to Google. So if at any time Google Drive stops working in the middle of a process or anything, uh, it's going to send that data and uh, to Google so they can help make it better. Click Next. Uh, you're going to click Start Sync. If you don't have any files on your Google Drive currently, uh, nothing's going to sync over. But if you do, this may take a while as it's going to sync all your files between your computer and Google Drive. So as you can see, this folder is empty. What we're going to do to test it out, we're going to open a new Word document. Just going to type some random letters in here just to put some characters in this file, maybe add a picture, a clip art, let's go, a soccer ball. Okay, now we're going to go File, Save As, and what we're going to do is we're going to save it into our Google Drive folder, which you can see is listed here under my favorites, Google Drive. It's actually a folder on my desktop as well. There's a shortcut on there. So what we're going to do, we're going to save this as Test. We're going to save it. So since we've saved it, we can X out. We can see that it's starting to upload here by the two blue arrows. Uh, it should turn into a check mark when it's done. So what we're going to do, we're going to minimize here. We're going to go to, oh, there it is. It pops up immediately. We can go to test.docx. We're going to open it up, and we can view it using Google Drive instantly online, as well as view it on any of our mobile devices, such as iPhones, iPads, iPods, etc., our uh, Android devices, Android tablets, and any other computer that we sign into using our Google account. So that's basically it. Uh, for more on the features of Drive, I'll have a couple other videos on uh, how to install Drive on your iPhone and how to use Drive and sync between your iPhone and your computer, and uh, as well as an Android phone and an Android tablet. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed. This is Kevin from Learn Computers 24-7. Thanks for watching.